it is finally time. F1 2022 is here. It is July 1st, 2022, and I am exhilarated to play this game. And that is a big word for me to use, so you know it's true. Before we get into anything, I just want to take a moment to quickly explain what happened with F1 2021. Because obviously it ended really abruptly in Spa. And I thought I had the issue fixed and we'd be able to get the last three races posted. And I didn't. Basically what happened is I was having issues with my game crashing and my OBS crashing. And my PC in general. So I thought, you know what? I'll be able to fix it. I just re reinstalled everything and got that sorted. But then when I loaded up my F1, I, I just didn't have a game save. So I physically couldn't continue. My game had completely reset and yeah... It wasn't great, but that doesn't matter now because the new game is here and I am very excited. Now, this episode will be the start of our my team and then later on in the week, I'll be uh, uh, doing a video with all the other features, you know, like VR and supercars and all of that good stuff. But for now, it's my team time. And we're starting off straight away with a bit of a new option where you can choose one of three places to start. Uh, newcomer, midfield challenger and championship contender. Slightly upset that uh, the McLaren is in Newcomer. Right at the back of the pack. Come on. As a McLaren fan, that hurts <laughs> really badly. Oh. But we're going to go Newcomer to get the whole experience. We're starting off by creating we'll the team. One. What name would you like to give the team? Well, there's no mods at the moment. Well, actually, there are, surprisingly, but we don't worry about them. First season, which is going to be Duck Racing. And we're going nice. to obliterate. Now. Winner. Some kind of income stream is critical, so we need to sign a primary sponsor. Our primary sponsor will pay a signing bonus to the team up front. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They will also provide valuable weekly income for us. Each sponsor has a goal they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. So doing a little bit of quick maths, uh, Xenon Dynamics will give us the most money as long as we hit Fantastic. that goal. Now so, we've got a budget we'll to work go for them. With. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So, let's sign a power unit supplier now. We need both performance and durability from our power unit. But we also need to balance the books. We're going to have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. So we only have 4.6 mil, I say only, but you know what, that's not much in the game. So Ferrari, not a chance. Red Bull are looking intriguing just because of the fact that I know that Red Bull later on in the last game became really, really powerful uh, and durable compared to the other team. So I think I'm going to go with Red Bull and stick with them and, you know, we just upgrade on it, work key on partners it. partners for our team now, but we still need a teammate for you. These are the drivers available to be your first teammate. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses, so consider everything when deciding who to hire. Drivers earn a claim based on their performances. When a driver earns enough acclaim, they will level up. The higher a driver's level, the more acclaim they will earn for their current team. And remember, the faster the team levels up, the faster our income will increase. The higher a driver's experience, the more resource points are earned to spend on vehicle upgrades. Racecraft is the driver's skill to effectively complete overtakes when opportunities arise. Awareness shows the driver's ability to avoid errors and incidents. Pace describes the driver's ability to set competitive lap times. Focus represents the driver's current form and state of mind. Rating is a summary of the driver's overall skill level. So this for me is a super easy choice. Um, you may be able to guess who I'm going to go for already, but I'm going to do what the F1 teams didn't Looks and like give Piastri power unit a seat in team. Formula 1. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. And with that, the team is created. You saw the livery back then. It's a nice, simple livery. It works well with my helmet. A nice neon uh, green slash yellow and a nice baby blue. Kind of, They work surprisingly nice together. Um, and I also have a really nice helmet design. Uh, similar to my previous one. Which I realised I didn't actually ever show you what that helmet was. But it's a bit late now. I'm hoping they add one very similar to that into this game. Um, because... That's my helmet. I might have to make one. I might have to genuinely go and mod one, but that's not important. 
Bahrain Grand Prix. We're going to go straight into qualifying and see what happens. Now, obviously with the new the new game, we get new physics models. And I've driven a couple of laps in time trial just to see how the car goes and to get my settings sorted. And it's dodgy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so don't expect much. But qualifying wise, we're a lot quicker than we originally were. But I don't know how fast we actually are going to be. I mean, I'm going to give myself two or three races of just leniency here before I need to start putting in some good performances. Because, you know, it's a new season, it's a new game, whatever. But going across the line, that's going to be P21, I think, which isn't awful because we're not last. And you can see my helmet there. It's a very nice design, I can't lie. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal, and it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities, and it could be a strategic race this one, with Sakia notorious for eating up the rear tyres. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. Edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have... Sainz, Perez, Valtteri Bottas, and Fernando Alonso. Ocon, Hamilton, Mick Schumacher, and Yuki Tsunoda. Gasly. Norris, George Russell, and Joe. Vettel, Magnussen, Alex Albon, and Oscar Piastri. Ricardo, Stroll, Reed, and Nicholas Latifi. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as once again we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. OK. In the car, on the grid. Now, when I press the X on my steering wheel, we will not start the race. We will start the formation lap, because we get to do them now, and park up the car, which is going to be very fun. And it will actually open up some great opportunities uh, into turn one and stuff, depending on where you are on the track. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Right, normal race strategy. We're going to underfuel the car, which may be a really bad idea, actually. Eh, oh well, <laughs> we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And there's not really much else we can do now. We're going to go soft and medium, as we normally always do. Um, maybe there'll be a safety car at some point. We'll have to see. But I am very excited for this, because last year's game, unfortunately, when it first came out, I wasn't doing YouTube. Uh, so I am really looking forward to having, you know, an episode come out around about the same, or not around about the same time as everyone else, because they all got early access. Thanks, EA. Appreciate you. No, I'm joking. I've got, like, a fraction of well, everything they have. But next year, maybe. That could be our goal. That, that could be our goal for next year, is we get early access. That'd be nice. Yeah, EA, get on that, mate. All right. Here we go for the formation lap, then. Let's see what happens. I mean, it's just holding in the clutch, really, and then just letting go and driving away. I've done formation laps before, but just this time is a formation lap, and I get to actually park up the car, which will be really cool. But here we go for the formation lap. We're going to get some heat into the tyres. Mark, why have you had to replace Jeff? I don't want to shout at you, because you sound really nice. Oh. All right, here we go, then. Getting ready to park up to begin the race. We'll see what happens. I mean, obviously now we can um, get all the way up to the line, so we can do the little like uh, burnouts to warm up the tyres and stuff, which you'll see the other drivers doing ahead of us, uh, not behind us, because there's only one driver behind us, and it's Latifi. No offence, Latifi. Mm, some offence. 
Alright, we're going to pull up, though, and see how close we can get before it... Oh, purple. Okay, Very nice. Alright, here we go, then. Five red lights here in Bahrain. We are underway for the first race of F1 2022. Stroll on our right. We're past Stroll straight away and Ricardo. Piastri ahead of us now. We're going to go alongside Piastri. And then diving down into turn one to get a good start to the new game. We've got to absolutely send it if we want any form of points towards the start of this season. And we're up into P15, being pushed off the track. Zhou Guan Yu to our left. He's pulled away from us in that Alfa Romeo. And I like how they put his name as Guan Yu instead of Zhou. Because that's how the Chinese name works. And I, I, that, that's really that's really nice, Code Masters. Good, good stuff. Anyway, it's heading down to turn 8. We've gone a little bit wide to not hit Zhou Guan Yu, but... Magnussen, you bitch, you've spun us. Oh my god, what was he thinking? Alright, Mark, that's really bad timing, mate. That's really, really bad timing. Anyways, here we go, end of lap one. Piastri and Ricardo battling for P17. Ricardo's ripped off part of Piastri's wig, you cheeky bitch. Piastri's going to pull into the pits. Oh my god. We've got to try and get back at Ricardo if possible, Oscar but I don't think it will be. Maybe here into turn one we can go around the outside, but no, Ricardo just breaks a bit later. Unfortunately, McLaren not having their brake issues in Bahrain like uh, like real life, which is good for me as a McLaren fan, but bad for me, who's battling Ricardo in the McLaren. Oh, God. I hate being a McLaren fan sometimes. Here we go then. End of lap two. DRS should be enabled at the end of this lap. Which will be interesting, because I don't know whether DRS will be really overpowered in the game. Like it is sort of in real life with these new cars. We'll have DRS to see. I can't lie though, Mark's uh, voice is kind of soothing. I quite like it. Yellow flag. Oh, yellow flag ahead. What's happened here into turn 10? Oh, oh, shit, drift. Ocon's gone off. We nearly went off. We nearly joined him. Wow, okay. AI making a lot more mistakes than I thought. And I like that, that's good, We're that's fun. Okay. Oh. Oh, yellow flag ahead. Oh my god. That's Norris and Russell. Both of them have gone off. Whether that's been a collision or not, I'm unsure. They've both gone off. Confirmed. We're going to pit lap 5 now into the lap 6. The tyres are getting quite a bit warm, but wow. AI mistakes are very frequent but I like that oh my god Lance Stroll is having a look down the inside of turn 11 sorry 13 moron don't do that it's not gonna work it just won't work where, where are you going he's going around the outside now yeah that's also not gonna work not at that sort of corner oh my god someone think that he bought his way into F1 bloody hell okay, nice that was funny this. right oh shit he's over here that's kind of calm I guess he had DRS though. Oh my god, Latifi's also coming back at us. No, Latifi, pipe down. Oh, yellow flag again. Is that Ricardo? That is, that's Ricardo and Albon. The McLarens are having a mare. Oh. Oh. Safety car. I like the sound of that. Alright, here we go. We're going to pit in, obviously. I mean, it's, it's the lap we're going to pit in anyways. So we might as well go in now, get a bit of a free pit stop, or a freer pit stop, cheaper pit stop. Oh my god, we were nearly not down to 80 kilometers an hour. Flipping hell. Alright, I don't know how this new thing works, so I'm probably going to get it wrong. Um, oh, too late, fuck. It's fine, 3 to 3.3 seconds. That stop wasn't great, we lost some time there. Really? I kind of wish it would just allow us to drive instead of this stupid press to turn in thing. Because there's just still not much much control. Maybe next year. I mean, we've got the formation lap, so maybe next year. Maybe next year. All right, here we go then. Back to green flag racing. P11 with behind Zhou Guan Yu. Heading down towards turn one. We're going to pull to the right and then swish back to the left. Let's we'll see if we can get past him. Albon ahead of us. Oh my god! Albon and Alonso having a huge collision. Oh, wow. That's moved us up into P11. Oh, sorry, P9. Lance Stroll is out. Alonso is out. And I'm assuming... Albon is out. Wow. Okay. 
intense stuff. <laughs> P9, Joe Granu is behind us. We've managed to sneak our way into the point of that huge collision. And the free safety car pit stop. So now we just have to hold our position. We have one position to drop if we want a point. But you know what? We're not going to do that. We're going to try and get all the points. Not all the points. All the points we can, which is two. Alright, here we go. Into turn 10. Let's see what's going to happen. He's going to be right behind us. There's no DRS just yet. He is going to move to his, our right hand side. Try and get past into turn 11. But I don't know if he'll be able to get around. But it's a very wide corner. It's a very long corner as well. There's not really much chance of him getting around here. And he doesn't, obviously. I don't know why I'm still chatting last. Um, gap to the car in front is 4.2 seconds. Yeah, I got a lot of underbody damage after that collision with Magnuson. Which I still don't think was really my fault. Oh, Zhou Guan Yu coming back at us down the inside of turn 14. He's gotten past. Oh, a little bit of breaking a cheeky switchback right there. Very, very nice. And I'll take back P9. And I'll do it in style. Yeah, that underbud. Oh my bloody gods! We just thought they'd clear that up. That underbody damage has really uh, sort of thrown me here. I, I can only hold position, I can't gain position. Uh, which isn't great. We'll be fine, we'll live. Zhou Guan Yu having a look down the inside of turn 4. But he can't make it past. He's in the fullback behind us. Pipe down, you peasant. Alright. Lap 10 still, four laps to go, or four and a bit laps to go. Heading through, turn 10. Joe Granu behind us, still in that Alfa Romeo. He's gonna have the RS, he's gonna have on the left hand side, into turn 11, he's well past. There's no way we can fight back for that. We're gonna have to wait until the end of this lap. We'll be able to get DRS on him, and get past, hopefully. DRS now, on Joe Granu. We're gonna pull to the right, and move to the left, as the yellow flag behind. It's quite debris, we're fine. Oh my god, the debris. Oh my god, Joe and the debris is just going everywhere. Well, Joe getting back ahead of us really helps us out here, actually. Because we're going to get DRS. And he isn't. And with that, goodbye, Joe Guan Yu. And Magnuson is also going to have a look into turn four. Joe, what are you playing at? <laughs> what was that? He just had a go at me in the inside and then hit into Magnuson and lost the position. What a noob. It's fine though, it's fine. It's his first race in F1. It's alright, it's alright, we'll allow him. Magnuson though, might have wing back, he does. Oh, okay, that's unfortunate for the Haas. Oh, talking of Haas, Mick Schumacher is actually in the points. How long until he bottles it? Okay, the car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap How long? Sorry, that's really mean. I really want Mick to do well. I want him to keep his seat. Please Mick, if you're watching this, and I know you're not, but if, if you are, Please, do better, please. <sighs> Lap 12, oh my god, we've got an engine thing. We've got an engine warning. The ICE is at 60% after one lap of practice, one lap of qualifying, and 12 laps of racing. In 14 laps, it's going 60%. That is mental. Oh my god, this happens in the pits. He's got some soft tyres on. I'm assuming he had a bit of a collision up ahead. And is... He's going to fall behind us, I think. I mean, he's coming out of the pit box now. He's going to fall behind. And also, Joe Guan Yu has pulled into the pits himself as well. I don't know why. That, oh, my. Bro, why is this debris not good? Right, lap 13. Ricardo and Russell fighting for position. Right, Ricardo gains P9. They're getting right up behind us. And that is not good. But we'll see what happens. I mean, if they're going to be battling each other, we can just allow them to battle. And just stay far enough ahead that they can't, you know, go for an attacking move on us. Which, for now, is working quite well as we go on to start our final lap of the first race of the new okay, game. I mean, Schumacher is 17 seconds ahead. Kind of mad. 18 seconds ahead. Ricardo and Russell, though, right behind me heading down towards turn 10 now oh my god oh my god oh a little bit of a drift that's not good but it's fine we're good we're good Charles Leclerc your race winner in the Ferrari sounds about right but Daniel Ricciardo and George Russell right behind me they're having a look Ricciardo looking down the left hand side Russell 
might have a look down the right. He does, he has a look. And he doesn't even turn the bloody car. And he hits into the side of us, a cheeky boy. But it's fine. He can't get in the position and we're going to come P8 in the first race of F1 2022. Oh. That's the end of the race. It is. Park, I will. I like that. That's nice. Eighth position. That's some good points. That's a good points haul for our first race. Let's go. Also, Schumacher still scored points. Come on. Oh, hello. This is this is a new animation. That's not that new. A little bit new, maybe. Well, there's even on science. Well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. But what set Damn. them apart from the rest? Pull it well, about. I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car Oh, hello. Today. I mean, we can talk drivers oh, hello. all day. But if you I like that. That's sick. That, you know what? That is anywhere. sick. When you hit that sweet spot of having both that is really sick. And, and you can just see the engine a little bit under the vent. Like that's that's really today. cool. That's that's nice uh, detail there. Yeah, that's that's really sick. Looking at the podium, oh, hello. You see that red After that, suit, like four times now. <laughs> Lucky five. No. That's sick, Ferrari though. These, these, these are some really again. cool animations. And it's not much, but even just that, it's just cool. It's just nice to have something a little bit fresh. And I'm hoping there's a lot more like race wins, like uh, celebrations. Like last year, they added in a couple of ones. I hope that they do the same this year and they've added a couple of new ones. And they added the jumping into the uh, team. That's never been there before. And I really like the fact that that's there. You can just see the little cars down there. That's, that's sick, man. The attention to detail is so nice. Congrats. But that ends off our first race of F1 2022. And I have to say, it was a rather successful one. I mean, Oscar, he had a pit on lap one and fell really far behind. But he actually... In, in, in the grand scheme of things, didn't do too bad. He came P12 out of 19 finishers. So that's really good for him. We came P8 with four points. This won't happen often. I have to say now, this won't happen often. This is a one-time thing. Um, especially seeing as next race is in Jeddah. I've never raced there before, or never raced there in my team. And I am absolutely petrified. Because... <laughs> Oh, it's horrifying. We'll, we'll get there. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But yeah, started P21, finished P8. Charles Leclerc in P1. Sergio Perez P2 with the fastest lap. Carlos Sainz P3. The only thing I don't like is it doesn't seem to be too realistic. Because Lewis Hamilton is in P4. Jokes. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Calm down. People genuinely thought I hated Hamilton. Like when I posted uh, a video with a joke in it. So I, I can't remember who it was. But someone commented like, does this guy actually just hate Hamilton? No. It's all just jokes. It's just funny jokes. Well, not really funny because I make them, but you know what I mean. Anyways, though, looking at that, it's, it's a rather interesting finish. You know, Yuki Tsunoda in the points, Gasly not, Mick Schumacher in the points, Valtteri Bottas in the points. This could be a really interesting season. But my initial thoughts on the game, very good. Very good. I mean... It, by very good, it's the same as last year with a new physics model and a new car, and obviously all the new drivers and stuff and the new tracks. But that means it's very good if it if it's the same as last year, but just a little bit different, but in a better way. I like that. But one thing I do have to say is uh, when pausing, and then unpausing when using a wheel, the wheel goes really light, like like on like no settings whatsoever on the wheel, and then it takes like a five second thing to go back which is the only issue but that's the only issue that i found so far and i really enjoy the game and i hope you really enjoy this episode and i hope to see you for episode number two out in jeddah i'm very scared <laughs>